So we are live, and I'm here we're with live. John. Uh, we are at the Wismec booth. Correct. We are. Which also we see Joytech behind us. Joytech is is a sister to Wismec. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Elif Joytech and Wismec are all kind of siblings. Yeah. Uh, under the same kind of large group. Yeah. Uh, all different styles and brands. So branding obviously is a lot different for all yeah. three. Uh, but the quality is, I'd say, all relatively the same. Yeah, you know, that's one thing really I've, I've always known between the, the, the branding there, mm -hmm. that you guys do a good job with your quality. Yeah. So the Absolutely. reason why I'm over here at the booth is that you guys asked me if I would uh, would like to help you unveil yes. a product that nobody's seen until this show, right? Yeah, this is the first time we're showing this to the public right I didn't even now. know that this thing was coming, and I was like, oh, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a pretty nice little device, as far as I saw over there on the table, but I, I didn't want to spoil it. No. I didn't want to get into it too much, so I figured I'd sit down with you. Yeah. And I got my buddy Matt over here. He's going to help with the camera in a little bit. Uh, so tell me what this is. So what we're looking at here, this is the uh, it's the Priva DNA. Priva DNA. So tell me a little bit about this thing and why uh, Wismec is making this. Okay. So basically, what it is, it's going to be uh, it's kind of like your all day pod system. Right. Uh, it's a 10 50 milliamp battery. You're going to get two mLs of juice. You're going to have two coil variations. You're going to have a 0.25 and a 0.5 coil. Right. Obviously, the 0.5 is going to be more of your uh, mouth to lung, where the 0.25 is your direct. Okay. Uh, you have a nice, incredibly well-engineered uh, top fill system. Okay. A nice adjustable airflow system. Right. And, of course, with the DNH board in it, you're getting e scribe So you're getting that opportunity to adjust the wattage for it. You're getting the opportunity to adjust the colors of the LED to whatever colors in your mind signifies hot, cool, right. medium. So uh, is this a DNA chip that was made just for this mod or is it the DNA Go? Is that? It's the uh, DNA Go. Okay. It's the DNA Go 20 watt. It's a popular it. chip. Yeah. Yeah. Great job. We're working with Brandon with this. It's actually fantastic. Wizvik hasn't worked with Brandon since the RX right. 200. Yeah. And you know, Wizvik kind of went off on its own path for a while, yeah. but they realized that collaboration is such a this is a great melding of two great uh, companies that right. there, it would be wrong for us to not keep working with the DNA. Uh, yeah, and sure. And product. you know, a lot of people are using pods now, but they want a little bit more flexibility yeah. and stuff. Did you say this is rebuildable at all? Did you say that? It's not rebuildable. It's okay. a disposable pod. Uh, prices on them are going to be around $5 starting. Okay. Uh, there'll be more iterations of the pod system. Sure, I, I want to yeah. like, create more options eventually. Yeah. But this is the first one that uh, we'll be showing with the device. Well, cool. Yeah, I haven't really had a chance to do much yeah, live yeah. out here because I've been so busy. It's yeah. like, you know, I'm just trying to walk from the back of the hall to the front. I got stopped 10 times. So of course. <laughs> I'm like, all right. But, you know, I was uh, I was pretty happy that you guys wanted to have me help you guys to, uh, to show this. It's our honor. It's the first time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand this over to Matt. Let me flip the camera here. All right, so that's Matt. You guys hey. know Matt Bennett. He's he's channeling Tony B today with that yeah, hat. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yes. Well, Matt is uh, he is a designer of mods himself. He's also uh, he, he makes the Bennett custom mods. Yes. Great little squawk. So I know he knows how to use this camera. So I'm gonna flip it around. That's an iPhone, man. I'm not an iPhone guy. Well, it's a camera. All right, so we've got the the plastic off of here. So taking a look at the box. Let's see here on the back. I'm gonna have to read it this way. So it's the Priva DNA. It's got a Priva 3 uh, stainless steel 316 dual 0 0.25 ohm cartridge. Really? Dual? Wow. Uh, then it's got the Priva KTR 0 0.5 ohm cartridge inside as well. There's a USB cable, user manual, warranty card, and does that say? Oh, warning card. Warning card, yeah. Well, your that's good. Your standard warning card. What's the little lock on there for? What is that? I don't. You know what? I'm really not sure. That might be <laughs> that might be sample lock. That might be you what it is. <laughs> John's like, man. Of course, you're gonna ask me questions. Yeah, well, I don't know. There's always that good question. All right. So this one opens <laughs> up. All right. So when they designed the packaging, they kind of were trying to really kind of bring in the GoPro effect. Right. That was their atten you know, attention to it. Like, hey, let's kind of create. It, it is kind of like that. It's like a jewel box. Like a. Yeah, that's where they were kind of going with that design right there. And I mean that in like, you know, a, uh, uh, a ring box. Yes. <laughs> let's be clear about that. Yeah. All right, so let's look at what's inside the little box that we get here, all right? So this is the box. It's kind of the carbon fiber look on it. You've got all of their social media over here. I mean, this is not really a review because I haven't had a chance to use this. Right. And I really, uh, all right, so Wismec challenge accepted, it says there on the side there. Yeah, that we're trying to step up our game. Well, that's good. That's really what it's all about. Cause I know like, you know, we've kind of fallen off the map a little bit in the last year and a half. And I've really been wanting to challenge the team right. to really bring it. And this That's is good. one of the first, this and the 
the Tinker 2 are like where we're like really trying to push ourselves into a new direction. Right. Well, that's good. Yeah, you, you know, you often have to reinvent yourself. Yeah. All right, so we've got a everyone. USB in here yeah. and the USB is a uh, it's a micro USB. Yeah, standard micro USB cable. So many people are asking for the uh, USB-C now. They're like, "Man, I got to have that USB-C." I mean, does it, would that offer that much of an advantage with this? It, it's kind of like how, no matter what you do, you, it's based on the wall charger you're using. Yeah. The Type C is a great style of charging option if you have the correct wall mount. Right. With a micro USB, it's accessible to everybody still. And, they, and I, everybody's I, got them. Everywhere you go, you're going to be like, do you got a USB? Yes. And that's the, you'll always be able to find one wherever you're at if you forget it at home. That's so the it does have the warning card in here. And the warning card... This is going to, it's going to tell you what your LEDs are telling you? Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, the, the standard LEDs, uh, the way it's pre-programmed in the box, it's going to give you the breakdown of that. All of these are fully adjustable when you get into eScribe. Right. Uh, and of course, uh, eScribe is now available for Mac too, so that's a yeah, good thing. Yeah, you can get it on your Mac now. It's fantastic. Yes. You got your warranty card in here. And yeah. All right, so that's, that's what we got there. And then this pod here, this is the extra pod, right? Correct. So. This one was, what did it say there? It was the 0 0.5 ohm cartridge. Mm -hmm. So both of these are lower ohms, right? Correct. And that's not something you see on pod systems. No, uh, that's, who, that's the reaction we've been getting. So yeah. like, really, that's an MTL of 0.5? Yeah. I'm like, give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> Just give it a try. Trust me. All right, so. You know, we've been working with Brandon, too, on our airflow. He's been focusing a lot on airflow in his in his boards. Right. So we've been working with him to make sure our airflow is actually utilizing all the work he's already done in this category. And so that's where you're going to start seeing the, the, it's a very unique setup. Right. Even the .25. It's, it's okay, is that standard 510? Standard 510. So you can put your standard 510s on there. It's got a big airflow ring on there. I like that. Correct. So that's nice. And it's got a lot of uh, a lot of grippiness to it. So that's good. You can get right in there and do that. Uh, so I noticed this right off the bat, the fill on this, Correct. right? Because most of the time with pods, you're going to have the little plug, which mm -hmm. works fine. Yeah. It works good. But this is kind of cool. You just go like this. Is it? You slide it this you way? Slide it, yeah. Yeah. And there is your, your fill right there. So it's got the lips, which helps to keep it from back flowing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's good. Mesh coil or not? No, uh, it's canthal. Yeah, this All one's a standard. Oh, would both be, of them are Cantho? Mm -hmm. would, you be, would you be offering a mesh in the near future? We could be offering a mesh in the near yeah. future, but as soon as that happens, you will know. Well, and <laughs> I'm not sure with uh, with DNA how mesh is. I mean, yeah. they, they probably have to tweak a little bit and figure that out. Yeah. And if you're somebody with eScribe, you could probably figure it out. Yep. Exactly. I do notice right off the bat that you can see the cotton in there real nicely, so it's, it's a good amount of cotton. Mm -hmm. Because if you've got a, a lower ohm coil like that, you're going to want to make sure you have plenty of cotton and saturation exactly. going on. Exactly. So that's pretty cool. So how does the pod come out of this? Just pull. Ah, it's magnetized. Go. It's magnetized. And when you get it out of the box, you're going to notice on the bottom, the connection points have a little plastic ah, yeah. uh, thing on there. Unfortunately, they haven't added that little nice pull tab for those yet. Right. That's something we're going to have to work on to make sure it's, it's very obvious that you need well, to Well, this is the one that I want to try because this is the, uh, it is zero... 0.25 ohm dual. So it should be written on the bottom so we'll be able to read which one it is. Yeah. Perfect. Can't really see the coil in there, but it's I'm right gonna... in this section. Yeah, I so see. So both of these two chambers are for your uh, for your juice. There's a dual. So you got like two chambers. Juice chamber, and that uh, restricts the pressure it creates on wicking. Right. So you're not over wicking and flooding okay. that chamber. So when it's in here, it goes like that. So when it's in here to fill it, you're just going to slide that over and fill it. It's pretty cool. Super simple. I like yeah, that a nice lot. Nice and easy. You're not unscrewing something, worrying about losing a top. And, and the cap. fact and the fact that the pod goes in very easily held in with magnets. Yeah. Uh, the construction of it feels really good. Uh, is that zinc alloy? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's real solid. It's got a little bit of weight to it, you know, which could could be a, an advantage or a disadvantage yeah, for something. You know what I mean? Exactly. It, you can never make everybody happy, yeah, and that's right. that's one thing I've learned with designing stuff. It's like, well, oh, man. I thought it would be better lighter. Well, it feels cheap. You're like, yeah. okay, well, whatever. All right, so on here it says powered by Evolve right there at the bottom of it. Can you see that? And then Wizmec over here on the side and Priva DNA. And then on the bottom it's got an ID on there and some venting down there. All right, so I see it's got one button and then another button down here. We need to fill this. Yeah, we need to get some. Yeah, could you give me some juice? Yeah, let's grab some juice really quick. So yeah, it, you know, the feel of it is pretty darn good. It feels good in the hand. Uh, it looks pretty good, you know? I mean, 
I'm just curious to see how it's going to vape. Now, I will tell you that you're going to need to let it sit for a good three to five minutes before you, you know, vape on it after we fill it. Um, I don't and, know if... And it is the DNA Go chip, correct? It's the DNA Go so chip that's inside of it. it is has four settings on it. it yes, have four it does. It. And that's what that little LED is going to be down yeah. there. So tell me about the settings on this then. Oh, lava flow. Good choice. All right, so now the first setting is white. So, so what do you white, do? White signifies the device is locked. Right. So whenever you press the fire button, whenever you press the bottom button, you, when you see the white. There's also a manual inside there, just so you know. You're gonna <laughs> I'm like, I don't need a manual, I yeah, got done. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> All right, so, so white so is white the default. Is so when you hit default. that, that yeah. is the default. Yeah. Come down here. All right, so white, uh, there you go. Yeah, so you know that's white. Fire button, when you press it too, it'll, it should blow white. Let's go ahead and fill this before we yeah, start talking. That. So I'm filling with some naked, uh, naked 100 lava flow. This is some tasty stuff. Oh, I love the lava flow. Three milligrams, that's good because this is a, uh, a nice low ohm coil, so I'm really curious how that's gonna Oh, so it's, it's designed around regular juice, not necessarily Well, salt. you could use a, a lot of these are salt yeah. or regular. A lot of them coming out are now. Yes. Yeah, I think with the 0.25, okay. I would I stick can, to a regular. I can tell you that it's a little bit difficult to see. Yeah. I'm going to pull that I out. I would say pull the, yeah, I think that's probably the best way to do it. You'll see both chambers actually slowly fill up. When you get the tank, you probably only need to give it about 30 seconds to kind of let the, the juice wick um, the actual cotton and get right. some oil. So it wicks very easy. It works pretty smoothly. Like if you leave this chamber open, right? It'll it'll actually flood that chamber out. So that's only one thing I want to recommend. Make sure you always know that your top fill is closed. Okay. Because it will flow right into that uh, coil chamber. So the lava flow is strawberry, pineapple, and coconut. And I don't usually do coconut, oh, no. but I like it in this. Okay. <laughs> no, I, lava flow is one of my uh, one of my favorites from them. Cool. All right, so. In order to change that, what are we going to do? We're going to well, hit we're it. First, we're going to turn the device on. We're going to do the your standard five click. Okay, I just turned it off. I think it's turned off. All right, so it came on and. So you can hit that button. It should change colors. Okay, yellow. Yellow. Green. green. And blue. And blue. That's blue really is easy. the hottest setting. Is okay. Yellow. Is, so it's yellow, green, blue, as the settings that come stock with it. Yellow is going to be your lowest setting. I think it might be 10 watts. And then the... Uh, and like anything, I'll start out low yeah. and then we'll go up. Yeah, exactly. So one of the things that I've noticed with uh, with the DNA chip and some of the other mods, uh, the Orion, is that it was easily confused. Like people are like, wait a minute, is it blinking three times? Or you know what I mean? That kind of thing. So I like that's that's really easy. Yeah. You know, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, you got three different levels and uh, say blue three. is the hottest. Uh, blue is the hottest, right? It is stock so yellow, form it is. green, and blue. So we're going to start off with yellow. There you go. So you've got a little bit of carbon fiber on here, and it uh, it does feel... Uh, listen, carbon fiber, unless the entire thing is made of carbon fiber, is always going to be some kind of a, a decal, right? Absolutely. absolutely. Uh, but it feels like it's on there really solid. Yeah, they went for a nice quality in there. It's got almost like a 3D depth to it. That's what I really liked about that. Uh, I mean, it, it looks really good, you know? Uh, and I like that top fill. The pod comes out a little, I mean, I'd, I'd like to feel that be a little bit agree. more snappy in I there. Agree. Uh, it comes out a little easy. A uh, little more of a tactile feel you want in there. Almost yeah. Like, this is a subtle click, Tick. if that, yeah. that's all you need, I right? mean, you know, even if you're just using the magnets, you could get it to do that. Yeah. Let me hit it a couple times to help get that wick. I'm yeah, going to just close the airflow. Mm -hmm. That stuff is good. It's tasty. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open the airflow all the way up. Do you think it's uh, it's wicked yet? Or do you think it's safe? You can always look. You can see the cotton from the inside. If you look at it, you can kind of see if you I can see, see that color change. I can see that the second chamber is filled up now. And it looks pretty wet. Yeah, let's, let's, let's give it a try. Worst case scenario, we can get you another one. John's like, ah, oh, well, I guess. Let's give it a try. Let's live dangerously live. Yeah. You know? Yeah, especially with, with burnt cotton is always awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got the waters dude that does hit really good i'm gonna tell you with the airflow all the way open it is a it's a wide hit i mean i'm you know i'm getting a lot of airflow there i'm gonna tighten it up about halfway that hits like a regular mod so it's really i mean while it does have a pod in it it's really more like an all-in-one mm -hmm. it's not i mean i can't that right there with that 0 0.25 double 
coil in there, I don't think I'd be hitting salt with that. No, no. I wouldn't. I personally would. You could. You could do anything with anything. I mean, some people, <laughs> some people would be like, I get 24 milligrams, man. Yeah. I'm like, no. Don't, All right, don't so. do it. As he falls over. All right, so that was on the yellow. All right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to the green setting now. A little light is green there. Dang, man. That's smooth. It does hit really smoothly. So green, and now we're at blue. At the blues. Is the coil replaceable or is it just pods? It's, it's just pods. That's for a now. good question, yeah. Pods for now. Yeah, we, I, actually, that is a big, to that's a hot topic. Yeah. So that is something it right really now is. that we really want, and I don't want to do it sooner than later. Yeah. I feel like if you wait too long. I don't well, think you necessarily a, need to do a rebuildable setup, but uh, just it, Now, is this the also, is just to make it quick, yeah. yeah. Is that metal or plastic on here? This should be metal. This, okay. That ring should be metal. Well, I asked that because, you know, it's like, if you're going to be throwing this whole thing away. It's a lot of, it's a yeah, lot of that's stuff. That's a lot of material going into so the So it's track. not, it's just something, you know, I no, mean, absolutely. it's a, a viable absolutely. question. Yeah, it's working good. Yeah, man. So that was the hottest setting. I kind of like the green. So I'm going to go back to green right in the middle. You know? I just like things in the middle. I'm a middle child. You know? <laughs> That's how it happens. I dig it, man. It's nice. It's very nice. Thanks. Good job, guys. I appreciate it. That's I cool. I really appreciate that. So are you here in America on, on the team, or do you work in China as well? Or? I uh, I have actually I've been with the company for about... I, I started in 2000, the end of 2015. Okay. So when the RX200 came out, I was involved in that project. Okay. Uh, I've been working alongside j -Bell for years right um, i've stayed with the company ever since good uh, but i am still here locally in yeah. uh costa mesa california so okay. about an hour away from here and yeah we're still heavily into r d i asked that question because it's nice to know that the you the, there is an american component to it while it is a chinese company and it is being made in china you are in touch with what Americans want, and so yeah. at least you, you've got some input on that. Yeah, we did. So. Luckily, we even have a couple designers in Switzerland. Oh, okay. Good story. That's pretty cool. Um, and they're actually a lot of fun to work with too, because you know, as much as we sell everything in Wismic in the USA, we also sell Wismic, you know, in the EU. Right. And so speak local, up a little bit. And they, oh, and they, so they use a lot of, you know, I like to use a lot of the design influence from that area of the world. Sure fashion and design and everything yeah. that they have we usually catch on to what they're already into about a couple of years later so Often, it's a lot of yeah, the, you I know like that. oh that was like tight pants were way popular in europe <laughs> way before tight pants became a thing here i think it's the same i don't know man if you would have seen me back in the 80s bro <laughs> i had some tight pants yes. I've seen the pictures. and i had holes in my right there yes uh, that's for ventilation but that's purposes. where my wife my mom would be like you got to get rid of those pants i'm like hell no my balls hang out of there i like that now, now, I've had a couple of drinks, guys. Now, yes. the question, question I'd like to cover, because I've, I've seen a couple yeah. comments on it is... Yeah. Matt, speak up so they can hear you. They are, they are Kenthal coils, correct? Kenthal yeah. coils. Okay. Now, one comment that came up, now me being someone who uses DNA e stuff, stuff, right. um, if I'm correct in saying this, I don't believe the DNA go chip does not have temp control or anything. No. It does not. I don't think it's it not does not. It's not designed to run. No, it's really basic. What I, what I looked at when I was looking on eScribe is you're seeing really basic adjustment. You're, it is. You're, you're, you, get, you get coil options. You can pick which coil you want to adjust, but then you're just like kind of... But it, it's not like a 75C or the DNA 250C where it has the replay mode. It has... The, I was just going to ask that because I have... It does have the replay mode. Oh, it does have the replay yes, mode. How does, do you do that? Uh, it's inside through eScribe. Through eScribe, okay. Yeah, 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 through eScribe. So you would, need, you would need to go to eScribe and set that up if you want but to replay it. But my understanding, it. my personal understanding of the Evolve and the replay mode is the replay mode only works on stainless steel coils. Actually, the one I'm using right now is a stainless, stainless steel. steel. It is stainless yeah. steel. Stainless so steel 360. The mode would work on there if you set it up. Yes. So yes, you oh, would be able to do that. Okay. Yeah. It has all the valid questions. That's a great See, question. See, Matt actually. Bennett, man, he's he's a good friend of mine, and he knows he knows the stuff. But I, I use I use Evolve stuff. You do. Religiously use Evolve stuff because they're a great company to work with. Their products are great. They stand behind their products. Yeah. If there is a problem with it, they make it right, like that. I mean, mm -hmm. instantly. Yeah. Man, and, you, you and, can get a lot of airflow on here too. I like that. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I've been doing it with half the airflow here's full yes. 
and the hit is consistent throughout. I mean, it's it's a nice, smooth, consistent yeah. hit. I like it. I think it's pretty cool, man. Thanks. Good yeah, job, guys. Yeah, we'll send you one so you can do a proper yeah. review and that would be really cool. use it for a while. I yeah. want you to really get a good feeling of how, Experience how it, everything right. works. Well, I appreciate you guys asking uh, me to come over here into the booth. It's and been our, our pleasure. It's been yeah. our honor. It's glad to have you here. You having a good show? Everything is good? Everything has been great. It's been a You've been busy over here. I know that. When We've I walked been by. Rocking. The, the amount of hardware in this show this year is... It's actually really That's exciting. That's true. I have seen more hardware here than, than yeah. I usually do. It's usually a, a lot of juice. It's yeah. a lot of juice. And there is still a lot of juice, but there's a lot of hardware here, too. A lot too. of hardware. So there's and the show is going through tomorrow, and you, uh, you're you going to be, be out here? here? Yeah, yeah, we will be here all the way till the end of the uh, when it's closing time on Sunday. So now, are you selling these out here if somebody wants to come buy one? The I don't think we're going to be selling <laughs> those yet. It's uh, like, no. Those will be releasing probably in two weeks. Okay. That's the plan. So we'll start pre-orders in about two weeks. Okay. And uh, from there on out, yeah, we'll hopefully have them like in people's hands in the next by the end of the month. Okay, That's cool. The goal. Well, guys, thank you so much. I'm going to try to do a little bit more uh, some live stuff. St Vapes is out here. He's got something new that he's showing out here. So maybe nice. we'll stop by and talk Very to nice. him at his booth. Uh, but I just appreciate you guys' support of the channel and. Thank always making you. sure that I've got the latest stuff to show people and and uh, and giving people a chance to see this on my channel, one of the first places to see it. Yeah, this is cool. fantastic. This I appreciate been a lot that. Of fun. All right, man. Well, cool. thank you very much. Thank you, Tony. All right. I appreciate it. We'll pass that back over here. Thank you very much, Matt Bennett. That's him over there. Totally channeling Tony B. Now you had that hat before. That's not. I new. bought this hat 12 years ago for my cousin's wedding. Okay. And had it ever since. First show I brought it to. For some reason I was just like, man, I need to. Tony's my best friend, he's my big brother. <laughs> I need to go Tony B one day. He, did he say big brother? So now he's, he's now brother. he's saying I'm older than him. I mean, <laughs> that, that may be the case, I but may look older. that may be the case. Yeah, he does look a little bit older than me. No. All right, guys. <laughs> Seriously, thank you very much for watching the channel. That's it for this live broadcast. Maybe we'll do a little bit more, and we'll catch you later. I'm, I don't do this that much. Let's see how we do.